What's going on? We got the Hannah 9814 here. We're about to put this together. So I'm going to show you. It comes with a probe, some quick calibration solution, some cleaning solution, a booklet. Has a two-year warranty. And I believe the probe has a six-month warranty. Made in Romania. So it's going to come with three batteries. I popped the batteries in. It had a little cap on the back. You can see it's got a nice rubber seal around in here. And also what I like that I noticed is the three screws. They also have a nice rubber seal. See that? So that to me, that's good. So put the batter we took the back off, put the batteries in. Now we're gonna line these screws back up. <clears throat> I'm gonna just put these back, make sure those little rubber gaskets are in place. Put those three back. Alright, so those are dropped into place. And now you just take your screwdriver it on you want to get it nice and tight but not so tight that you're gonna break the plastic from going so hard so, go ahead and do this I like this meter because it's lightweight it gives a lot of information it gives quick reads and Easy to calibrate. All the grow line HANA devices are made to quickly calibrate. That's why the calibration solution is called Quick Cal. All you need is one solution. A lot of pH pens, if you guys don't know, you need usually a pH 4 or a pH 7 or like a pH 7 and a pH 10 solution. So you have to do like you have to calibrate your pH probe to two points. And with the quick cal, you just go to the one point. All right, I think that's good enough. That's on there. Let's turn it on, turn it off. Let's turn it on, Let's see what it does. 100% battery, no probe. Probe is that piece right there. <clears throat> so you take your probe, unravel it. Take this side, it's gonna go right in the bottom. Match it up with that, there's a groove right in there. See that little groove at the top? You wanna to match that up, put this in. That's in there. You got the probe act active. Now the probe is gonna come with a nice little rubber protector. Inside this, you can see there's a little bit of liquid. These pH probes, you wanna always keep them hydrated because pH probe will lose its ions or it'll dry out. It'll lose its ions if you put it in RO water. So you never want to put demineralized or RO water here. Always use a storage solution or tap water if you can ideally or <clears throat> some of the cleaning solution or the agricultural solution I think might be okay but you don't want to use reverse osmosis water because Filtered water will pull the ions from the actual device, and that will ruin the device. So when we're ready to use this, we're going to take this off, rinse it with some clean water, and then we can uh, get it ready for our solution. Here you can see it tells you the temperature in Fahrenheit, the 0.00. .00. That is going to be your electrical conductivity, so how much nutrients are in the solution, and then the pH, so it's reading at a 6. You see at the top it says EC, 4, and 7. That generally means that it's calibrated and it's ready to go. Um, ideally, you, you would calibrate. So I will most likely either, even though it says so, I'll go ahead and take one of these quick cal solutions. And I will uh, calibrate this <clears throat> so that we're good to go. And uh, you know what? Let me just do it now while we're on video. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the head of this probe. One second. Rinsing off the probe right now. 
It's important to use clean RO water so you get good calibrations and readings. But let's uh so we got our probe right here. We got the device in hand. So let me just see. Let's see what this manual says. Real quick. pH calibrations, single point, place the probe in any buffer, the meter will automatically recognize the buffer value. If the buffer is not recognized or the calibration is offset out of range, wrong is displayed. If the buffer is recognized, REC is displayed. Wait until the calibration is accepted. If using pH 7, after acceptance, press any key to exit. So, I just wonder if we have to press any button to start calibrating. I don't think we do. Let me see if I hold the button, what happens. No, that doesn't do anything. Let me see if I hold this power button. Quick cal. Okay, so you hold the power button and it tells you to use the HI5036 and it says it's wrong. So what you want to do is you want to have your sachet open, your probe is clean. So you go ahead and <clears throat> cut this thing open, right? So, all right. So all you have to do is cut the quick cal cow solution open dip the probe in you're gonna open this you're gonna take your you're gonna take your little device here and you're gonna stick this down into the liquid and then once you do this all right so that's down into the liquid now it's telling you to use the cow. Okay, it recognized it. See that? So this is calibrating with the quick cow solution. It should read 6.86 .6 pH. That's what this solution is, is itself. So let's see, 6.88. EC is also five of this solution, 5.0. So there you go. This is now calibrated for sure. And it's ready to use. So to exit this calibration, you just hit any button like they said. You can rinse your probe off. <clears throat> Once you rinse your probe off, you're going to just take it. Sorry. You're going to take your probe, rinse it off, put it back in the storage with the lid, and uh, put it for good use. I also got this as well. So this I'm gonna just install right now. Nice little, little grip, nice little case that Hannah sent me. So let me pull this out. <clears throat> Take this nice rubber case. Big shout out to Hannah. The best pH meter company, in my opinion, out most reliable two-year warranty they got the most affordable products they got the best products and uh, the thing i like about hannah is they've been doing this and doing meters for for years and they help multiple industries it's not just growers so they make products you can rely on there you have it guys the grow line hi 9814 we unboxed it we put the batteries in we re-screwed the back protector on. We got the nice rubber case around it. We attached the probe. I talked about how there's a protective piece on this probe that you're gonna always use. And it's right here, this piece right here. And <clears throat> what I like to do is I'll just take that storage solution 
pour some in here up until here and we'll close this off guys easy as that and since this quick cow has some electrical conductivity it's actually a good solution i think so it's got some conductivity it's got minerals in it so the minerals aren't going to are going to protect and not damage the probe see how the probe is now in that liquid we're ready to go like this video subscribe and share it if it helped you guys check out hand instruments also we got some of the best papers and filters make sure you check those out organic hemp 100 percent some of the best carbon filters in the game smoothest filters in the game